Mercedes has done a, a lot. They've done uh, two teasers online and, uh, and have just released their, uh, their commercial. Um, they have a, a very long 90 second. They have a couple of variations with Willem Dafoe and Kate Upton and Usher. And that's generated, that's generated some, uh, some definite buzz. And they've done a good job sort of uh, really stringing interested parties along. Uh, it also helps that uh, Mercedes-Benz has their name tattooed on the side of the Superdome. Come on, get happy. You guys are three minutes late. Don't be no cloud on a sunny day. Yeah, chill, Winston. Some ads, they're subject to, uh, they're tried in the court of public opinion early. And the issue with that is you saw with uh, Volkswagen this week, um, their commercial was, uh, was thought to be by some uh, racist. And it kind of kills the ad a little bit before it even comes out. Uh, overwhelmingly, I, people have responded positively to it. But with a commercial that big, when you're spending that much money, it's, uh, it's, it can be troubling to, to release something early. And, uh, and subjected to higher scrutiny. Don't tell mom! Don't tell mom. Mm -hmm. Don't tell mom! Don't tell I think a lot of people enjoy the ads being out in advance, but you know, there is the, there's the stark possibility that it could tank your campaign. And with so much money at stake, that, that's kind of a, that's a big risk.